Ever since the dead map mode ended, I have been waiting for a new game mode to be released. And first now, 6 months later, the Trailblazer Leagues have been released into the game. This is a brand new game mode where you unlock new areas and relics after completing tasks in game. And for the next couple of weeks, I will be playing this game mode non-stop with one focus in mind. Unlock the wilderness and kill players using the new relics. We don't know yet what the new relics are, but according to Jmods, there may be one or two relics which may be very overpowered in PvP situations. We're starting off by picking the relic Skilling Prodigy. This relic boosts all non-combat skills permanently by 12, meaning I will be able to rush and unlock a lot more content much quicker. And there we have it, the 10k, one of the first people who got it. Besides the 10k, we did also get ourselves some boots for some easy, easy 40 points. Beautiful. Kill a guard, another 10 points. We're getting so much points, 80 points so far. Natural history quest completed for 30 points and 20 slayer, 20 hunter. All right, so now I'm killing tree spirits. Hopefully we can get a rune axe for some money. Yes, we got the rune axe. Beautiful. And that is killing a lesser demon completed. Where's the task bar? There we go. 50 points for killing an Elastic Demon. Come on, Court Drainer, die. There we go, he's dead. Vampire Slayer done. 36 attack, 10 points. Oh my god, what? Oh my god! I got so many points just equipping items. And that's the Sheep Shitter completed. It was a bit buggy to unlock the second relic, but we managed to get it to work. We decided to pick last recall. This makes it possible for you to teleport back to the area where you last teleported from. And this is going to be the last task we can now unlock at a brand new area. The area we're gonna pick is the desert. Unlock. Look at this animation. Ooh, what a nice animation. Look, I'm the only one with Alcrit unlocked. I'm first here. So the plan is simple, we're gonna be here and get around 100k cash and a lot of agility levels. And then we train magic, unlock wilderness, get 43 prayer, and then go bossing. And that's the first agility permit, 10k to the bag. Something I realized is that once more people unlock the desert, there's gonna be competition by the hill giant. So I better get some combat XP in very quickly. I'm out of runes. Let's go back to the pyramid, I guess. And bam, I'm back to the pyramid. Oh, we got 40 agility, gaining us 50 points. 50 agility, giving me 50 points. 64k cash, we're gonna stop there and start working on more tasks. And that's another 50 points for wearing full Addy. Teleporting using Larus, 50 points. Oh, and that's 50 magic. Oh, that's 50 points for killing a red dragon. Okay, that was worth it. Oh, 50 points for burying a dragon bone. Oh my god. 50 points for casting a blast spell. Thank you. And that is 50 combat for another 50 points. That's another 50 points for shopping willow logs with a rune axe. And that's another 50 points. And that's another 50 points. 50 points for killing a crocodile. So easy. What 50 points for entering Sofanam? <laughs> what? And that is going to be 50 points for killing a Calphite Guardian. And that's High Alchemy for another 50 points. And that's a uh, Waka Keno Maid for 50 more points. 50 points for pickpocketing a guard. Beautiful. And another 50 points because that was a Varrock guard. And that's another 50 points. And there we have the Emerald Ring for another 50 points. And now we have 2000 points making it possible for us to unlock the next relic, which is apparently the most overpowered relic out of all. But before I reveal what relic I pick, I am happy to announce this. Before we continue on with the video, I am very happy to reveal that I will be releasing limited edition Sea Engineer Potion plushies today. These plushies will only be available for the next three weeks and then they will be gone forever. You can find the link in the description down below. Oh, 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 oh. The tier 3 relic I've decided to unlock is Double Cast. So basically what this relic does, it halves my attack speeds when I use magic. But more importantly, I save 90% of all runes I'm using when I'm casting. Have you ever seen someone mage this quickly? Oh my god, it's like a blowpipe almost. That's 50 points for casting Ice Rush. Oh my god. Gay Ultimate Iron Man 1 defense is the first person I've seen in the desert. Four hours of being here all alone. That's the first guy I see. Oh, that's 100 points for 60 magic. Beautiful. 
And that's another 50 points for wearing full green dehyde. That's for the attack. We can now equip a rune sword for 50 more points. 100 points for casting a wave spell. Ooh, a rune longsword. I needed the money. How much is that? Like 20k. Beautiful. Look, we only have two blood runes, but we have casted like 10 water waves so far. Look, it doesn't go down. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love this. I love this relic. So much runes and nothing wasted. First the bone for 43 prayer, giving us 50 points. And then we're gonna high alk a chaos rune for 70 magic for another 100 points. That puts us at 2540 points and if we do log out here, we can now see on the high scores that I am once again rank 1 league points. And that's the feud quest completed for 120k thieving experience. We now have 54 thieving. That's another 50 points. Alright, we got the giant key here. Let's do our first boss fight. Based on this guide, I should just snare it and attack from the distance. Our first boss fight completed. Ooh, our rune plates cleared as well. 50 points. Great drop. That's a great, great drop. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah, the mossy key. Let's get out of here. We're gonna do the mossy key boss as well. Okay, this is overpowered. Oh my god. And that's another... Is that another 50 points? Another 50 points! 17 tasks left, then we got the wilderness unlocked. While AFK editing, 50 points for catching salmon. 100 lobsters have been caught. There we have it, 50 more points! 750 total, putting us, giving us another 50 points. We are the first person in the high score with 3k points. Just give me it. <gasps> oh! We got a unique item, frog slippers! We got the frog slippers! That's a unique! We have it, the Eye of Newt. You know why this is big? If we use this on the Guan Potion, we have unlocked, unlocked a new area, which is going to be the wilderness. It's time to do some bosses. Here we go, baby. Here we go. There we go. First kill for 50 points. We're not gonna waste any time. We go to the next boss, uh, a lava dragon, actually. There we go, Lava Dragon killed. We are only gonna need the bow. <gasps> Rune Kite Shield as well. Oh my god, that's a great drop. Such an upgrade. Oh my, I can't even believe that. Lava Dragon Bone. And that's gonna be another 50 points if we bury this one. Yep, 50 points. I'm gonna be honest, some of these points are really weird. Open a looting bag for 50 more points. That's so much. But I'm not complaining. Sacrifice the bone right there. Yep, 50 points, there we go. Another 50 points for completing Will the Agility course. Oh my god, this is going so quick. I feel like I'm flexing the high scores so much. High scores, I'm rank 1 once again. I think it's gonna be another 50 points by just going down here. Yep, another 50 points. Alright, equip a cape for 50 points. Here we go, another boss is about to die. And that took me a while, but there we go. Chaos Elemental killed. Ooh, blood runes, that's what I want. As much as I want to keep the rune plate skirt, we have to high alk it. Goodbye. The blood runes was the best drop we could get. And that is and that is going to be all the god spells completed. Saradomin, Samarak, and Gothix. If there's something I've learned from this, then it's gotta be to never mage the Chaos Fanatic. I've been here for like 10 minutes now, it's awful. There we go, oh my god, that took such a long time. 50 points. If we manage to kill Scorpion now, we're gonna be the first person who unlocks relic number four. I'm quite nervous, I'm not gonna lie. We gotta do it, it's now or never. I have no food, I have one food left. We did it. I think we did it. We did it. Scorpia is killed. Relics. Oh my god, we got 4k points. We are the first to unlock unnatural selection. Oh my god, we did it! First person! Alright, if we update the high scores, we are first on the high scores with 4k points. Let's go, baby! It couldn't have been a better ending to this video. Relic 4 have been unlocked 
and I got great plans for the next episode. And once again, if you want to support me just a tiny bit more than usual, this plushie which I'm selling comes to a price of $24.99 for the next three weeks. Something that has become a tradition here on the Sea Engineer channel is me showing how I have prepared my fridge whenever a new game mode is released on RuneScape. First of all, we got five care packages cooked and delivered by my beautiful mother. This includes salmon, broccoli, meat, curry and Persian rice. Then we got the eggs, the protein yogurt and all the breakfast materials. And of course the Swedish people watching knows that the gorbis and the billis is a must. 